All right. So, uh, Honorable, uh, was, was it Shivambo? Yes. No, thanks, Chair. Do you know, the, in, in virtually all the public hearings, we had submissions from the, the Koi and Sen people, or people who refer to themselves as the Koi and the Sen, and making the same call that the political territory called South Africa today is, the, is rightfully a territory of the Koi and the Sen people. My, my, my confusion about that is, how do you determine that? Because the borders which we call South Africa today are colonial borders. Where do you draw the line? Like uh, uh, Cecil John Rose went to establish colonial outposts in what we call Zimbabwe and Zambia today. It's a recent past phenomenon. It's not a thing that has been there for a very long time. Just which part of South Africa do you say we should, uh, or if, if the argument sustains, is rightfully uh, belonging to the Koi and the Sen people? And wh why, why the need to want to break down or to like uh, stratify indigenous Africans? And say no, we are not because, like in many instances, it may not be you, Mr. Williams, but in many instances, the submissions that came from the Koi and the Sen, they were saying that even the population that we refer as Africans cannot claim this land. Like there is a deliberate dividing a notion, a narrative that says that we are not same indigenous indigenous people there is koi people this side and the same and then there is africans day I, I i want to get to understand that notion of where does it come from and where do you draw the line yeah. in I'm terms of uh, all of, of those issues can we please then get that in terms of the clarity because it, it then deals with the land question so that when we deal with these issues uh, we're able to factor that in. But also, I, I chair quickly, I, I'm, I'm honestly interested in terms of what practically do you want us to do as this legislative body in terms of what you say is non-recognition of the Koi and the Sand people? What practically should we do? Should we change the constitution? Which section to deal with that? Should we pass separate legislation? What practically is to be done? Uh, Honorable Williams. It's, it's, an, it's another question that is not part of the subject. So please don't answer that one. It's going to take our time. It's a long debate. Uh, Honorable Mulder. I'm going to try my best to ask a relevant question. <laughs> now, I, I thank you, Chairperson. I want to thank Mr. Williams for a very interesting presentation. <clears throat> If I may ask, the slides that you are showing is not part of the presentation that we've got. It would be very nice if you could get a copy of what you've got there, if possible. <coughs> now, <clears throat> the question I would like to ask is quite clear from your presentation that you don't see land only as economic commodity. You see it as more than that, something that can belong to a community. And then you refer to Section 25.7 of the Constitution and you suggest that that should be scrapped. And the reason being that it gives a specific cut of date 1913 and you feel that if that's gone, then you can be accommodated. But you also referred in your presentation to section 235 of the constitution that deals with self-determination. And section 235 specifically says that it should be implemented in terms of national legislation and that national legislation has never happened in the last 24 years. Don't you think in terms of what you want, because you are being asked in terms of alternatives, that what you need can be addressed by way of that kind of legislation in terms of Section 235 instead of an amendment of Section 25. Thank you. Honourable Williams. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Chair. Um, <clears throat> if, uh, <laughs> the, 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 there's a very curious question, which part of South Africa are we, we, we looking for? I think uh, when we started out, uh, Chairperson, we, are, we were abundantly clear that there is this paranoia when the Khoi San community 
begins to exert um, themselves in terms of, of who we are as a cultural community and as an indigenous African community for that matter. There is always uh, from our fellow indigenous African people from Nguni Bantu uh, um, origin, there is this frenzy that we want to dislodge them, we, which means we want to chase them out of the country and we, is, we are saying that they are not part of this country. Now that's a very unfortunate uh, perception or notion or understanding of what we are talking about. It cannot, it cannot be. Um, um, we are very clear that we know that we've got family uh, who are from the Bantu uh, community, from the Nguni community, it would be absurd to try and come to a conclusion that uh, this uh, land, South Africa, exclusively belongs to the Khoi and the Sand community. So we want to be absolutely clear that we are not part of any of those discussions. Yes, we know there are very uh, there are radical people out there in the Khoisan uh, community, as in every organization and every community, that says that um, that uh, the, uh, that the Bantu and Guni people just came in here to take the land. Right? Uh, we are not part of that conversation. We are part of the conversation that says South Africa um, must be honest with itself and in the Constitution, let's talk about the practical stuff, that in the Constitution, in particular in Chapter 1, must recognize that the Khoisan is the First Nation. So that's what we are asking this, uh, this portfolio committee to, to do, and we're asking parliament to do. To that is the, responsib the responsible thing to do. If this government is as responsive uh, to, to the cries of the people as we have seen during the, the, the hearing, the, 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 it's the responsible thing to, to do to recognize us as the First Nation people. And we're saying, First Nation does not mean number. It doesn't mean that we are saying that we are first. It's undisputed that we are the first nation. There's nobody that can dispute it. Nobody can ask uh, when, 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 when uh, whoever came to, to the most southern tip of Africa, uh, who they found here. It is clear there's, there's empirical evidence and the history that is written, most of that history has not been written by us. And there's argument that that history has been written by colonialists. And it is true. But there is enough, uh, there's enough proof. There's DNA proof. Uh, that we've got that clearly um, locate us with amongst this, the, this, uh, the, the Khoi and the Sain community. So we don't want to be part of the people that want to bring a wedge between us as indigenous people. All right? uh, we think that it is unfortunate that there are people like that, but there is no, there's no, there's no, uh, uh, there's no argument, uh, in, uh, there's no uh, thing in our mind that we are arguing um, against indigenous people of Bantu and Nguni uh, uh, descent. These are people that belongs to Africa. You correctly, I brought this map up there, uh, uh, to put the map up there, because we are absolutely clear that the borders that is now called South Africa, these are colonial, uh, um, uh, uh, colonially imposed uh, borders, that we, uh, we, we've got to fight these borders with everything that is with, with, within us, because we don't believe that the Nguni and the Bantu people um, uh, migrated to South Africa. We don't believe that. We believe that they drifted because Africa was, was, was one country. It was not, was not a continent, it was a country. So we're clear in terms of that. I hope that uh, that answers. And then may, maybe, uh, Chairperson, I just want to conclude with this. You, you keep on hearing, in particular from the EFF, the EFF talks about African, all right? The ANC also made, uh, we think, uh, also made a very big mistake. Because the ANC talks about, in, uh, especially in the Morohoro conference in 1969, talked about blacks in general and Africans in particular. And EFF also talks about Africans. And when they talk about Africans, Chairperson, they refer to Africans as people who are from Bunguni and Bantu descent. Now that's a very, it's, a, it's an unfortunate statement that we have derived and we have come to a place where we have, we have dislodged a very integral part 
of the indigenous African people, which is called the Khoi and the Sen people. When we refer to Bantu and Nguni people exclusively as Africans, we've got to revisit that. It is a mistake. This country cannot uh, continue with what we call racial categorization. We are saying, uh, Chairperson, racial categorization is perpetuating racism. For as long as we put people in boxes of white and black and colored, that's how long we are perpetuating racism. We are the first nation we are. Your, you are asking who we are. We are your father and we are uh, your mother. You are coming from us. That's who you are. You are our children. So we must stop this thing of racially categorizing people. This is the elephant in the room. I thank you, Chairperson. I think that's the best way to conclude it, uh, Mr. Williams. We want to thank you for, uh, we want to thank you for, for making uh, uh, your time and be, appear before the committee.